In this code snippet session, we're going to have a look at using the time module. And in particular, we're going to have a look at using the sleep function. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually import time so we can bring the module into our program. And if we want to make a print statement and go, go to bed, we can also have a print statement that says, wake up. When we run this program, right mouse click and run time, you see go to bed and wake up straight away. But by using the time and the sleep function, or the sleep method, we can go time dot sleep, and then we can specify the number of seconds. So if we want to use three seconds, we should get go to bed, and then two, three, and then wake up. So three seconds should pass before this line of code, line 10 runs and says wake up. So let's have a look at our program now. Go to bed, two, three, wake up. So that takes three seconds. If we want 10 seconds, we will change that to 10. If we want to wait a whole minute, we could actually set that to 60 seconds. And then we can keep adding the number of seconds if we want to go to hours, etc. And you could actually use this as, a, as an alarm clock, but I don't think printing something on a screen will wake you up. But I'm pretty sure you could actually program a beep or play an MP3 file to wake you up. So there's some code that you can do to actually make an alarm clock. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in using time.sleep to put a pause in your program. This pause ensures that the program waits rather than tying up your CPU, like doing a, a for do loop a thousand times and chewing up clock cycles. This is a much more efficient way of having a computer pause so the user can read the screen, etc. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and have a look around for other useful Python code snippets.